Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today we are here. We're going to be talking about potatoes. All right. So these here is our Oriental sweet potatoes. And so, you know, we, we're just going to be talking about the process of how we go about getting our slips. Okay. Um, so real quick. Uh, what we're going to be talking about first is we got these jewel potatoes here. And so how we get to this process here to where that we have a nice foliage and everything like that. Uh, these potato here, what we went ahead and did, we go ahead and get our knives. And we went ahead and we cut it in half. Okay. So we got that potato there cut in half and so what we do we go ahead and we lay it down inside of our bowl all right go ahead and do this other one here okay and so we lay them on down and what we went ahead and did is we get our water so we, we definitely need that water to go ahead and get these potato into the process process of start to sprout okay and so that right there is just about enough water now so what we're going to be doing now we're going to be talking a little bit about these oriental sweet potato here and as y'all can see we have some real nice foliage on these uh, potato here and so now this one right here is ready to be plucked off Okay, and so we're just going to go ahead and pluck that there. And this one here is ready as well. <clears throat> All right. All right, so that is about three slips that we got off this potato here. And so what we're going to be doing now, and as y'all can see how big these, uh, you know, slip is. And this one right here have enough root. On it to where I can go ahead and put this inside of my dirt okay and so we're gonna put this slip here inside of the dirt and I just got some just regular uh, black cow and peat moss mixed in into this uh, dirt here and what we're gonna do we're gonna water this uh, plant here and we're gonna let this go ahead and sit and you know so the roots can go ahead and get established inside of our dirt and also another thing that I want to show you guys real quick is this slip here you can see how it's taken off right how long it is and because we are in the process of trying to get slips as quick as we can get them uh, because you know May is right around the corner and that is when we want to get these slips here inside of the ground so what I'm going to do here with this slip, I'm going to go ahead and cut this slip right here in this spot. And what I'm going to do with this slip here is stick it inside of my water and let it sit. And what's going to happen is going to start creating roots. And so once it creates roots, we're going to go ahead and put it in another one of our container here with dirt and so what we do we we'll go ahead and we we'll re repeat that process over and over again so this one right here like I said I'm gonna let the roots go ahead and get established and then eventually I'll go ahead and cut that right there in the middle so that would be an extra slip that I would get and you know with our water here inside of this you want to change this out at least once a week uh, sometime I find myself changing it twice a week because if the water just doesn't look good or you can see where it's changing the color, just go ahead and change the water out so that way your potatoes don't start to rot. Because if you don't change that water, you leave them in that sour water, you will lose your potatoes and therefore you will not be getting any slips. Okay, and just want to show you all what we got going on here with the roots. Um, you can see where, it, you know put on roots and roots under the bottom there and this to be honest this one right here this potato right here all these slips 
that you see in this area here. As you can see, we just pulled like three off. All these slips come from this one potato right here. And so we have these other one here that's in the process. Now they're taking off. You know, they are taking off. So now we're getting, you know, a couple of slips coming up from these here. And probably in about two or three days, uh, this one right here, they'll be ready to be put in pots. But, you know, and guys, and that's, that's how we go about getting our sweet potato slips here started on the homestead because... You know, I'm not knocking, you know, our box stores and stuff like that, but every little penny that we can save here on the homestead, it counts, guys. And so that's why we go ahead and we get a lot of our stuff started here on the homestead, just so that, you know, we can have a feel and an understanding of our plants. Because you think about it, if we're not doing it from ground zero, and doing that process all the way through if we take a shortcut and we go to the store and we go and pick up slips that they already have in the store you know yeah it's more convenient but i think it's better when you do it yourself so that way you know that when next year comes around you got that process down pat you can go ahead and do this same method here to get your slips ready you know and because it's going to come a time where that we won't be able to run to these stores and pick up a lot of the stuff that is so convenient to us now. So this is a process here that, you know, you could put underneath your belt so that way every year you can get your own slips. Now, one more thing. Um, right now we are now in April and <clears throat> normally this video I should have made it quite a bit a while now, but... I'm a little bit late, but is it too late to get your potato slips started? I would say no, it's not too late. Um, you know, the little time that you do have left till May to get here, you can you can get it started and you know get that process rolling. All right, but that's that's it right there. Just want to stop by real quick, you know, to share our process of how we get our potato slip started here on the homestead now this right here is a potato that we favor here at home and so that is why I am doing as much of this potato here than this year now my wife she liked this potato right here um, but me particularly mm, not so much but this is my favorite and we have quite a bit of slips here and we have a lot more to go. But none of the less, guys, that is it right there. I'm going to, you know, just say thank you all for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And I pray that you guys take something away from this here. All right. And y'all have a blessed one. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys out there.